Welcome everyone to this quick comparison between the AMD RX 550 and NVIDIA GT 1030. This is quite the interesting low-end budget GPU battle since, you know, these cards are the latest out there but the cheapest ones from both AMD and NVIDIA. If you're looking for this type of graphics card and want at least some sort of a halfway decent gaming experience, which one should you go for? In terms of pricing, AMD's RX 550 currently comes in at about 95 US dollars, the GT 1030 by NVIDIA at $80, so that one is a bit cheaper. The exact model I'll be using to represent the RX 550 is the Sapphire Pulse RX 550 with 2GB of video memory. For the GT 1030, it's the Gigabyte GT 1030 Low Profile 2G, also equipped with 2GB VRAM. And as for the specs, there's a bit of a TDP difference there, no display port output on the Nvidia side and only a 64-bit bus width on the GT 1030 compared to 128-bit on the RX 550. But then again, there's a price difference, so let's benchmark. So obviously, let's be honest here, we don't get a good gaming experience with neither of these two GPUs. But overall, the RX 550 does come out on top. It should, since it does cost a little bit more after all. I think AMD's solution is the better choice altogether, since it at least does offer a tiny, tiny, microscopically bit more future-proofness, so to speak. With a little tweaking of the in-game graphics settings and potentially lowering the resolution even further, you could achieve very playable 60 frames per second, even in demanding AAA game titles. And some games, such as GTA 5, even run smoothly at normal settings at 83 FPS on average with the RX 550, 75 FPS even with the GTA 1030. In Doom, the RX 550 drops behind a lot, however, this might be a driver-related issue with the OpenGL 4.5 API. By running the game with the Light Vulcan API, you easily outperform the GT 1030 in that game with an RX 550. In terms of power draw, I'd say, compared to the performance offered, it's pretty much a tie. Now just to make things clear, I wouldn't really advise anyone to buy one of these two graphics cards. Really only go for one if you have an extremely tight budget and can't go any higher, or maybe you just aren't into gaming and do so only casually. But even then I'd say go for the AMD RX 550, since it has better video output, I'm speaking of the DisplayPort output, which the GT 1030 lacks. Also, thanks to the 128-bit bus, it's a better desktop experience with the Radeon card. 64-bit is very, well, little for today's standards. Well, and I guess this wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this comparison and maybe discovered the differences between these two absolute low-end GPUs. And as always, thanks for watching.